Greetings. Today, let's embark on an enchanting journey, revisiting the iconic TV series The Big Valley. Many of you likely cherish fond memories of this timeless classic. This show has etched itself into television history, leaving an indelible mark. Join us as we rediscover the magic, exploring the entire cast, past and present. Discover the original identities and ages of the talented actors and witness their transformations in 2023. Without delay, let's dive into the captivating world of the Big Valley together. Number 1. Gerard Thomas Barkley The esteemed legal luminary in the Barkley family is a character brought to life by the talented Richard Long. As the first-born son of Thomas and Victoria Barclay, Gerard is not just a proficient attorney but also the epitome of education, polish and composer among his siblings. His role in managing the family's legal and business affairs showcases his efficiency and proficiency as a lawyer. Gerard's approach to conflict resolution is notable. He leans towards utilizing the law but isn't hesitant to resort to frontier justice and violence when circumstances dictate. Richard Long's career took flight in 1946 when he secured his debut role as Drew in Tomorrow is Forever. Filling a vacant role with precision, Long's performance marked the commencement of his contract with International Pictures. However, his professional journey faced a brief interruption during the Korean War, where he served a commendable two-year term in the U.S. Army, stationed at Fort O.R.D., California. Alongside fellow actors Martin Milner, Javid Jensen, and Clint Eastwood, and later in Tokyo, Japan. Long's personal life was marked by both joy and tragedy. His first marriage to singer and actress Susan Ball, a union that lasted merely 14 months due to her tragic battle with cancer, left a lasting impact. After her passing, Long found love again, marrying actress and model Mara Cord. Despite the challenges they faced and the birth of three children, Carrie, Valerie, and a tumultuous relationship, Long and Cord navigated through the complexities of marriage. However, Long's life took a darker turn in 1961 when Cord accused him of assault during a bout of intoxication. Although initially contemplating divorce, the couple reconciled. Long's health became a constant concern, with pneumonia affecting him in his youth and cardiac issues haunting him as an adult. His first heart attack in 1961 marked the beginning of a series of health challenges culminating in his passing on December 21, 1974, a mere four days after celebrating his 47th birthday. Richard Long's legacy lives on through his impactful contributions to film and television, showcasing both the terms and tribulations of a remarkable career and personal life. Number 2. Peter Breck as Nick Barkley Nicholas Nick Jonathan Barkley is the fairy younger sibling of Gerard Barkley, the elder brother of Audra and Eugen Barkley, the senior half-brother of Heath Barkley, and the off-screen of Thomas and Victoria Barkley. Following the damage of his father, Nick assumes the role of managing the family ranch. His distinctive appearance includes a black leather vest a sizable black hat and black leather gloves. He is known for his combative tendencies and boisterous manner. After his service in the United States Navy post-World War II on the aircraft carrier USS Franklin D. Roosevelt CV-42 in the 1940s, Breck engaged in professional basketball for the Rochester Royals during the 1948-49 season. Subsequently, he worked as a ranch hand while pursuing drama studies at the University of Houston. 
Breck made his on-screen debut in a 1958 film eventually titled The Beat. In 1970, he took on the role of Leif Harkness in the TV western The Man from Shiloh, later rebranded for The Virginia in an episode titled Hannah. Most of his engagements in the 1970s and 1980s consisted of guest appearances on television series such as Alias, Smith and Jones, Mission Impossible, Mac Millen and Wife, Swat, The Six Million Man, again alongside Lee Majors, The Incredible Hulk and The Dukes of Hazard. He also made appearances as himself on Fantasy Island and The Fall Guy, a series that also featured his former television brother Lee Majors. Breck entered matrimony with dancer Diane Bond in 1960 and they welcomed a son Christopher who succumbed to leukemia at the age of 30 in June 2010. Diane Breck Peter Breck's wife announced on his website that the actor had been grappling with dementia preventing him from signing autographs for fan. Despite his health challenge the mentioned that he continued to read and appreciate the letters following hospitalization on January 10th 2012 Peter Breck passed away on February 6th 2012 at the age of 82 in Vancouver British Columbia Number 3 Lee Majors renowned for his portrayal of Heath in the classic TV series The Big Valley brought depth and intensity to the character of the unhonorable son of Thomas Barkley Heath's journey into the Barkley family was not a smooth one he had to physically fight his way into the Barkley residence Majors masterfully depicted Heath's initial demeanor composed yet rugged his resentment and confrontational nature fueled by the belief that his father had abandoned his biological mother upon learning of her pregnancy Majors acting career took off with his inaugural role in Straight Jacket 1964 a film where he played John Crawford's unfaithful spouse in a flashback sequence his talent shown through in subsequent appearances including a 1965 episode of Gunsmoke and a role as Howard White in the Alfred Hitchcock Hour episode The Monkey Paw adapted from W W Jacobs short story venturing beyond traditional westerns majors showcased his versatility in a 2007 episode of According to Jim titled Jim Almighty where he portrayed God This unique role was revisited in the show's 2009 series finale Heaven Opposed to Hell. The inspiration for the iconic song Midnight Train to Georgia came from Majors and Farrah Fawcett. Songwriter Jim Weatherly, after a brief conversation with Fawcett, crafted a narrative involving a failed actress leaving Los Angeles pursued by her devoted boyfriend, with Majors and Fawcett as the aspiration. The song recorded by Gladys Knight and the Pips reached number 1 in 1973. Outside the realm of drama, Majors left his mark in popular culture appearing in a 1994 episode of The Simpsons and inspiring the title of the Beastie Boys song Lee Majors Come Again. Majors enduring legacy lies not only in his memorable performances but also in his ability to transcend genres and mediums. leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape number 4 linda evans as audra barkley audra barkley Portrayed by Linda Evans is the singular daughter of Thomas and Victoria Barkley. Audra possesses a degree of immaturity, self-centeredness, audacity, and assertiveness. Far from exhibiting demure qualities, 
she engages in daring feats and rides in the same bold manner as her brothers initially skeptical of heath's claim to be her father's son order to get a step further by attempting to seduce him to expose him as a fraud her efforts proved unsuccessful over time order and heath developed a closer bond establishing a strong brother sister relationship Evans earned a Golden Globe award for best actress in a television drama series for her role in Dynasty in 1981 subsequently receiving nominations each year from 1982 to 1985 she garnered a primetime emmy award nomination for outstanding lead actress in a drama series in 1983 Evans secured a People's Choice Award for Favorite Female Performer in a New TV Program in 1982 and for Favorite Female TV Performer in 1983, 84, 85 and 86. She also received Soap Opera Digest Awards for Outstanding Lead Actress in 1984 and 95. Her closest companions include her former stepdaughter television writer Shan Catherine Derek and Bunky Young even since past assistant a relationship spanning back to the mid 1960s both reside in close proximity to her in Washington state evens also maintain a close connection with John Derek's second wife actress Ursula Andres who occasionally stays at her Beverly Hills residence following a diagnosis of idiopathic edema Evans delve into alternative healing exploring eastern philosophies and naturopathy In 1985 she became associated with the controversial metaphysical teacher J Z Knight and her Ramius School of Enlightenment Eventually relocating to rare Washington to be nearer to Knight and the school Evans resides on a sprawling 70 acre estate sharing the space with her sister, nephew and former stepdaughter. In 1971, Evans appeared in Playboy magazine at the encouragement of her then husband John Derek as her fame skyrocketed with Dynasty. The photos were republished in 1982. Evans faced legal trouble in May 2014 when she was arrested for driving under the influence of a prescription drug. Number 5 Barbara Stanwyck in the role of Victoria Barclay immeasurably embodied the resilient matriarch of the Barclay clan adding depth and authenticity to the character as the widow of Thomas Barclay she navigates the challenges of 19th century Stockton with grace and determination Stanwyck's portrayal captures Victoria's unwavering love for her children notably Heath the illegitimate son whom She wholeheartedly embraces her as her own. Number 5. Barbara Stanwyck in the role of Victoria Barclay impeccably embodied the resilient matriarch of the Barclay clan, adding depth and authenticity to the character. As the widow of Thomas Barclay, she navigates the challenges of 19th century Stockton with grace and determination. Stanwyck's portrayal captures Victoria's unwavering love for her children notably Heath the illegitimate son whom he wholeheartedly embraces as her own Transitioning from a successful film career to television Stanwyck showcases her versatility Her guest appearance in the 1958 episode Trail to Now Here marked a notable shift foreshadowing her later terms on the small screen The Emmy Award she earned for hosting the Barbara Stanwyck show in 1961 underscores her prowess in the television medium. Despite modest ratings, the show's 36 episodes highlighted Stanwyck's enduring talent. In addition to her titular series, Stanwyck made memorable guest appearances on iconic shows like The Untouchables and Wagon Train. 
her commitment to the craft remained unwavering exemplified by her performances in various roles behind the scenes stanwick's personal life added layers of intrigue her rumored romance with co-star rex cherryman during the news and the tragic circumstances surrounding his untimely death in 1928 reflect the complexities of her genre Stanwick's legacy extends beyond her performances reaching the time of her passing on January 20th 1990 succumbing to congestive heart failure and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease she left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry true to her wishes there was no funeral service and her ashes were scattered over lone pine california Number 6 Napoleon Whiting as Silas Napoleon Whiting portrayed Silas the Barclay family's major domo making 35 appearances Whiting's early career was defined by his stage performances establishing himself as a respected theater actor and garnering acclaim for his talents As time progressed he made the transition to on-screen roles gracing both film and television with his presence In the cinematic realm, Whiting took on supporting roles in the various films. One notable highlight is his portrayal of Napoleon Bonaparte in the 1970 film Watermelon Man, directed by Melvin Van Peebles. This satirical comedy addresses issues of race and identity. Television played a crucial role in Napoleon Whiting's career where he featured in numerous shows often in guest starring capacities His memorable contributions include his work in the popular 1970s television series Sanford and Son Whiting's exceptional talent allowed him to embody diverse characters showcasing his versatility as an actor While information about his personal life may be less publicly accessible, Napoleon Whiting has left a lasting legacy through his performances in the entertainment industry. His contributions, especially in the context of prevalent racial themes during his era, enriched the cultural and historical fabric of American film and television. Number 7 Douglas Kennedy a versatile actor recognized for his character roles and occasional leading man status in Hollywood notably assumed the role of Sheriff Fred Madden with Provis his career which commenced in 1935 with supporting roles saw him rise to contract player status at both Paramount Pictures and Warner Brothers a major interruption occurred during World War 2 where Kennedy served as a major in the Signal Corps with the Office of Strategic Services and Army Intelligence Post military service Kennedy seamlessly resumed his film career embarrassing characters roles that often cast him as a western villain or territorial marshal His repertoire included isolated leads in the low budget productions and notable appearances in series like Steve Donovan Western Marshal and the science fiction classic Invaders from Mars In a 1954 episode of Stories of the Century led by Jim Davis Kennedy played a pivotal role Kennedy's portrayal of gunfighter William P Longley in the series marked a significant chapter in his career A family man he was married to Isabel Russell and father to Douglas Kennedy Jr Tragically at the age of 57 Kennedy succumbed to cancer in Honolulu, Hawaii, where he had been present for the shooting of Hawaii 5-0. His legacy endures through his impactful contributions to the world of cinema. Number 8 
नंबर एट चार्ल्स ब्रिलिस एज यूगेन बार्कली चार्ल्स ब्रिलिस पोर्ट्रेट यूगेन बार्कली द यंगेस्ट सन ऑफ द बार्कली फैमिली एंड अ मेडिकल स्टूडेंट इनरोल्ड एट बर्कीली सिमिलर टू हिज एल्डर ब्रदर्स ही वॉज रिकॉग्नाइज फॉर हिज ओकेशनल फायरी टेम्परामेंट नोटेबली डिपेक्टेड इन द सीजन वन एपिसोड टाइटल्ड बूट्स विद माई फादर्स नेम His presence graced eight. His presence graced eight episodes in the initial season during his tenure on the Big Valley. Bryles faced a draft notice in 1965, compelling him to the depart from the show. Serving in the California Army National Guard until 1972, his His character Eugen Barkley was scripted out of the series storyline with the explanation that he left to pursue medical studies at Berkeley. Post acting, Bryles transitioned into the realm of TV screenwriting. Additionally, he ventured into stage directing for productions in Southern California and took on roles in production and writing at the North Corporation of California. Residing in Orat, California, Charles Brilis passed away in June 2016 at the age of 71, succumbing to congestive heart failure. Number 9, Bing Russell, best known for his portrayal of Clint in The Big Valley. exhibited his versatile talent across various roles in television his journey in the entertainment industry began with ge true where his association with jack web paved the way for his compelling performance as john quigley a chicago mobster in the gripping 1963 episode five tickets to hell this narrative centered around a daring heist in chihuahua mexico showcase Russell's ability to embody complex characters leaving a lasting impression Russell's impact extended to the realm of music when he appeared as Rudy a record store owner and the initial manager for the Monkees Despite the concept being discarded upon NBC's approval of the show an edited version featuring Russell aired during the first season becoming a noteworthy part of the series syndication package in a later role bing russell alongside his son kurt portrayed vernon priestley in the television movie elvis 1979 this collaboration was a pioneering connection to their shared history with elvis priestley dating back to kurt's childhood acting alongside the iconic singer actor in it happened at the world's fair in a heartfelt interview Kurt reminisced about Elvis expressing admiration and a desire to meet Bing who had accompanied his son to the set beyond his on-screen endeavors Bing Russell's personal life unfolded romantically as he met his future wife Louise Lulu Cron at Teddy's restaurant in Newport New Hampshire Their union in 1946 resulted in four children including the renowned actor Kurt Russell Bing Russell's legacy persisted in the heart of fans even after his passing on April 8 2003 Number 10 Julie Adams as Edna Wesley portrayed Edna Wesley in the Big Valley she initially used her birth name until 1949 when she joined Universal International at the studio she crossed paths with future luminaries such as James Best Piper Laurie Rock Hudson and Tony Curtis subsequently she adopted the name Julia and later settled on Julie explaining the shift in 1954 she remarked the studio pick julia but i never have felt comfortable with it i just like the name julie better and the studios has given me permission to make the change in october 2012 the academy of motion picture arts and sciences curated creature from the black lagoon as one of 13 classic horror films for a screening commemorating 
द हंड्रेड एनिवर्सरी ऑफ यूनिवर्सल पिक्चर्स द थ्री डी प्रेजेंटेशन टूक प्लेस ऑन ऑक्टोबर सिक्सटीन एट द सैमुअल गोल्डविन थिएटर इन बेवरली हिल्स कैलिफोर्निया फॉलोइंग द स्क्रीनिंग एडम्स ग्रेज द सेज फॉर अ क्यू एंड ए सेशन शेयरिंग पर्सनल एनिक टोर्ट्स अबाउट हर रोल इन द फिल्म एंड रिफ्लेक्टिंग ऑन वेरियस कैरियर प्रोजेक्ट्स एडम्स वॉज वेट टू स्क्रीन राइटर ल्यूनर्ड बी स्टर्न फ्रॉम नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वन टू नाइनटीन फिफ्टी थ्री सब्सिक्यूंटली शी इंटर्ड इन टू मैट्रीमोनी विद एक्टर डायरेक्टर रे डेंटोन एंड देयर यूनियन एंड योर्ड अंटिल देयर डाइवोर्स इन The couple welcomed two sons Steven Danton who pursued a career as an assistant director and Mitchell Danton a film editor. On February 3, 2019, Adams passed away in Los Angeles, California at the age of 92. Recognizing her contributions to westerns, Adams received a Golden Boot award in 1999. The Arkansas Entertainers Hall of Fame inducted her in 2000. At Saicon in 2011, Adams received a Film Career Achievement Award. In 2012, she earned the Rando Award for the Monster Kid Hall of Fame at the annual Wonder Fest in the Louisville, Kentucky. The Barkley family brought to life by talented cast continues to captivate audiences as the Big Valley secures its place in the television history. Through glimpses of past and present, the enduring impact of this iconic show resonates. Join us in honoring the timeless legacy of the Big Valley and the remarkable actors who each did an indelible mark on viewers' hearts, weaving unforgettable moments into the rich fabric of our cultural history.